It's Monday, the 29th of August, and this is Coffee with God. Trust that you got a decent cup of coffee to start the day with. Mm. And if you have your Bibles, turn to Psalm 32, and we're going to read from verse 3. Psalm 32, from verse 3. Listen what say David he saw. You remember David sinned, and then he didn't confess it. He kept quiet about it. Now listen to what verse 3 says. When I kept silent about my sin, my body wasted away through my groaning all day long. Unconfessed sin eats away at us, at our conscience. It makes us physically ill at times. Verse 4. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My vitality was draining away as with the fever heat of summer. Incredible effect that sin. Because remember... We're body, soul, and spirit. And that makes up the heart. So if our heart is troubled, if, if our conscience is seared, if our, if our willful decision is to remain um, quiet about the things that we need to actually be confessing, then our whole body reacts and is, becomes toxic as a result of one part that is not well. So what do we need to do? We need to confess. Verse 5 says, I acknowledge my sin to you. And my iniquity I did not hide. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let everyone who is godly pray to you in a time when you may be found. And then verse 7 says, You are my hiding place. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. So what have we spoken about here? We've spoken about the fact that if we will confess our sins, He will forgive us. We will become confident because He goes from being ill and being down in the dumps and being incredibly tormented by His conscience. He prays, He says, I will confess. And when He confesses, listen to what the next verse says. Therefore, let everyone who is godly after you forgave the guilt of my sins. Therefore, let everyone who is godly pray to you in a time when you may be found. That's confidence. And along with confidence comes incredible peace. You are my hiding place. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. So, my friends, what I want to say to you this morning from Psalm 32, if you have something that's, that's bugging you, if you have something that that you know you need to get out there, but you're worried about the consequences, don't allow the consequences or the fear of the consequences keep you a prisoner. Confess, confide in God. And belay your saunders. Belay that, but but your heart sick mark. Hear it for God. And He shall your vertrust and give. He shall your vertrouwen give om op te staan. And He verskil wat God for you can give. Is a verschil wat die dag gaan verander. Don't go into today worrying about today. Go into today knowing that God is with you. In, in John chapter 14 verse 6 he says, My peace I give to you. Or, sorry, verse 27. 14 verse 27. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives you peace, do I give you peace. So do not be troubled. Do not fear. Go into today without trouble, without fear, because you live an open relationship that you've confessed which is keeping you. Come on, come clean and let God set you free to live the day to its fullness. It's a Monday. You need to attack it. You need to get into it. You need to, you need to eat it up with, with incredible gusto. You need, to, you need to devour it. You don't need to just taste a little bit. You need to get into it and get eating of this Monday that the Lord has prepared for us. But you can't do it if you're wasting away through unconfessed sin. So can I encourage you this morning? Let go and let God. Allow Him to work in your life to, to set you free. Have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. May the Lord bless you.